tutorial. Join the Cinelog tutorial. I'm going to show you how to blur all of the background of an image and keep one specific part of it in um, in focus. There is a tool that we use within Inlight to help us do this, but it doesn't do it entirely. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So you see that I've got this beach image right here, and all I'm going to do, I'm going to click this little square with this arrow pointing diagonally out of it, and I'm going to save a copy of that image. So now down the bottom of my screen or at the bottom of my screen, you can see I've got two of the same in image, and the one that is active is um, annotated with a little fold in the corner of the image and the purple bar at the bottom, okay? So this is the image that we're going to blur. Now I'm going to select my three bars at the top right hand side, my tools, so it opens up my tools menu or my drop down menu, and then I am indeed going to select tools. Now the, the, the tool that we would use normally to do this is um, called tilt shift blur, and you'll see that I've got a shape here, it's a circle in this instance, and I can move this circle around the image, and wherever, um, whatever's in that, the radius of that circle will stay in focus. But like I said, you can't get a starfish within that circle, and there's not, if we so if I selected shape, you would notice that there's not a star in there, so we're going to have to cut the, um, the star out. Um, and I'll show you how we do this. So. We want all of the image blurred for the for the time being. And all I'm doing is pinching and squeezing and making this circle as small as I can. And you'll see these arrows on the outer sides, these arrows right here. Um, all I'm going to do is select one of them by holding my finger on it, and I'm just going to drag it down so it brings the blur, the radius of the blur, to match the circle. So we can get quite a good, um, a good, a good blur on the background just using these arrows. But I want to make it um, just so it is just the star, no sand at all. So then I'm going to change the intensity of my blur. I'm just going to drag the slider up or down like so, and I'm going to have it around 64 so that we can make out what's in the background, but. We don't know specifically what it is. And then I'm going to click this little tick button at the top right hand side. So now we've got that image with just a small circle um, remaining in focus. Okay, so now what we're going to do is bring the other image in. So we're going to select Mixer. And then on our Mixer, this now allows us to select another image that we want to mix with the image that we've already got selected highlighted at the bottom by our fold. So we're going to use the one on its left, it's the same image, now we're going to mix this image with the one in the background. All we want in focus, all we want from this image is the starfish, so we're just going to cut it out or erase the, um, the background of the image around the starfish. So I'm going to select tools at the bottom, and I'm going to select erase, and then all I'm going to do is like I am wiping away the background, I'm going to wipe away as much as I dare for the time being. So we've got this left like so. Now obviously we want to get rid of all the the rest of the, the grey or the sand from around the starfish. So we're going to need to make it a little bit bigger. To do this we deselect the erase button down the bottom and then we pinch and squeeze and drag that image up. So it's much, much bigger, so we can get rid or we can remove the rest of the um, of the background. So then I select a raise again, and then I carefully just go around and remove all the parts of the image that I don't want. Now if I was to make a mistake, so I went like this, oh no, I've made a mistake. All I do is this little back button left hand side right here I just select that and it will take me back a step so then I can continue with what I was doing now so I've still got arrays selected so I can still erase if I want to move the image around I deselect arrays move the image then select arrays again and all I'm going to do I'm going to go around the outside of this image and remove all of the background 
actually you don't want to sit and listen to me waffle so I will join you again when I have finished erasing this image you won't even know I've gone okay so now you can see that I've removed all of the background that I want to remove from this image maybe not maybe I can get rid of this bit down here but it really did take me seconds it, it, it did it, it, it wasn't long at all so all I want to do now is move this into place above the other one so I just drag deselect arrays and drag it around and then make it smaller so drag the size down or drag the size up wherever you are whatever you're doing and what part you are but if you've rotated too much when you get the size right it will snap in place like so so now this image snapped in place for me and that's really really simple and that's nice and sharp so I'm gonna click the little tick button to say that I'm happy with that and that really is as simple as it is and then I just select the button at the top save that photo out I could add a nice um, a nice filter to that I suppose you know I could have got rid of some of the um, the edges down down the side down here look you see that I haven't deleted some of the things properly but that's that's easy fixed I'll just go back one and, and just fix that problem so um, I hope this helped you out just as a point of note for for future videos I'm going to make some really really short um, in light tutorials that takes you through all of the in light tools so um, so yeah look forward to those and I'll put those in a playlist on their own and they will be coming sort of thick and fast quite quickly so um, I hope this helps you out and um, yeah have fun with this catch you soon.